Hey, this time I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful animation by using just one function in PowerPoint at one slide. Hello, my name is Kenja and let's crack this job. Okay, here we are. Let's escape to see uh, how to edit this and how to create this in presentation in uh, editing mode. So once again, you will need for this PowerPoint 2013 at the best 2013 version and uh, no no uh, morph transition. So I don't know how many of you have more transition. Personally, do not have and uh, I, li I like it very much but do not have it and I believe that a lot of you like the morph transition and here is the way how to make something that looks very cool like being made in, in, with morph but it's not it is made by using just one animation and you'll see how so let me start I'll open new slide so right click in this blank space new slide I will delete these placeholders and just follow uh, I'll make my background in a back black color that's it so then I will add this shape to my presentation change size to 1.5 inches so 1.5 inches and then I'll just copy and paste it five times it is the okay that's it then in order to set every shape to right place and to have them aligned properly i will select them go to align say i'll distribute horizontally and say distribute vertically no they are not good distribute i will align in the middle okay then in order i will just resize a bit space between them like this again align distribute horizontally that's it in order to have them aligned equally so every uh, all, entire group to have aligned and the at the center and the, at the middle of the slide i will just select all of them right click on one of them and then i'll just group them now they're as a group i will align them align them in the center and then in the middle then right click to the group ungroup them okay now they are aligned the next step is to change the color of the all shapes yeah and then to type numbers the type numbers over there now they are white i will change font number font color into black change fonts into this font and then enlarge the size of the font that's it what we're missing here here we are missing our line so I will use the line just connect these two dots give to a line same color as our shapes maybe enlarge the weight of the line like this and I will send line into back because right now the line is in front of, of this shape so i will just right click to the line and say send to back okay we should also remove color line co sorry we should remove color line for for this from these shapes no outline cool now we are moving to that Im most important part which is animating uh, every shape so we should go to animation tab here we have animation pane and then the first shape i will give this animation and guys listen to me we are going to use just grow and shrink animation nothing more just that one i will give it to my shape grow and shrink animation okay it should start on click duration it's two seconds but let, let's look how how it works it works good 
but somehow it's too slow, so I will resize my duration to 0.75 seconds. Now let's see how, what is happening. That's it. But when enla with enlargement of this shape, the other shape should go somehow into back. So I will select all shapes and I will give them same animation, growing, but not they, they all not should be growing, they should be going into back. Then what I will do, I will say to all shapes. So this one should start. So when I press click, this shape should go in the front and automatically all of these shapes should go into back. So this shape should start animation with previous. Then I will select all of these shapes, just press to one shape, then press on your keyboard control and you can select all shapes and then with this drop down menu go to effect options and say please do not grow to 50%, you should be resized to be smaller and let's go to 70%. Ok, and duration is 0.75. Let's see what we've done so far. Yeah, that's it. But somehow this line is visible now and we'll deal with it later on. The next step is to, because now we have our first animation, next step is to say to this shape now you should go into back and you should go into front what we are going to do we are going to say to this shape select this shape and to add animation again grow and large align duration to point, uh, point zero, 0 0.75 it should start on click because I, I'd like to be in control of any animation because maybe I'll have here text maybe here some icons that will that will show so I'd like to be in, in control but if I go into effect options now this shape, if this shape will grow for 50%, it will look like this. Which is not good. So this shape should grow more than 50%. Than I will try with... I will try with... Let's try with 200. Say OK. Let's see how does it look. Not bad, but it's a bit smaller. Let's try with 210. 210. Yeah, now it's good. But this one should go where? Into back. But how much? Let's see. Add animation, grow shrink. Now shrink with previous. Align 0 to 75 and let's say in effect options do not grow now you should go into 70% let's try like this let's see what we got mm, so this shape should be shrinked more let's go into 50% 50% yes let's see what we what we have here nice nice and now we should apply all of these rules to every shape so this one should grow for house so should start on click 0.75 should grow for 210 yeah but this one what should again be shrinked but with previous 0.75 for how long for how much for 50 percent 50 percent big uh, big than the the last stage position let's see that's it guys now we are moving on now we are going to say to the four grow and shrink on click 0.75 you should grow for how much for 210 that's it 
and with you this tree shape should be shrinked with previous duration same as you effect options is by 50 let's see are we are on a good track we are I believe yes we are and now we are going to say to this five with you you should grow on click 0 0.75 but you should grow not for 150 but for 210 that's it you I'm gonna add to you animation and you will start with previous and you will be shrinked to 50 and let's see what we got here yes 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 cool now just in order to have everything aligned we are going to give to this shape 5 final animation to just start on click 0.75 and to be shrinked to again to 50 in order to have that final full slide let's see works 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 yes yes cool guys now we should fix this line so if we go with the line up to here then this will happen you see somehow it is not good but then we are going to select this line click to control and then we are going to place the start of this line somewhere in the middle of first shape and to place the ending of this line somewhere in the middle of the last shape then let's see what we got I believe we have finished our morph without morph <laughs> so we have finished our animation that that imitates morph looks like morph I believe it looks very cool if you add over here some text or maybe some shapes that will interact with this animation this animation could fit to any slide as agenda timeline or some process very very good good looking eye catching so guys if you like it please write me subscribe to my channel uh, that would be it from my side thank you for watching and see you next time bye